Okay, guys, so now we're going to come from those kettlebell swings and we're going to do some shoulder presses. There's a couple things I want you to keep in mind about the shoulder presses, especially when selecting the weight. Today, we're trying for 15 to 20 reps, okay? So try to get a weight that you can feel comfortable about doing 15 to 20 times. Okay, then once you select the weight, like go ahead, Jonesy, pick up your weights. Select the weight, and then I want you to come to a, a stance where your feet are at least shoulder width apart, all right? If, if this is relatively new for you, bring your feet even further, further apart. That will give you more stability. And then, Jonesy, go ahead and get started. And all I want you to do is really work in a very circular motion to push the weights up above your head. Extend your elbows all the way out. Good. Ryan, do you want to give it a shot, too? Good. And what I want you to do is feel, use a landmark here of feeling your biceps coming up to your earlobes to know that you're working right above your head and that you're not bringing the weights in front or too far behind you. Jonesy's going to do another variation for us. We call them the Arnold's. Okay? He's going to start with the wrists rotated towards him so the palms will face his face. That's it. And then we're going to externally rotate the shoulder as you press up. It really helps to get the rear delt involved and also helps to work your rotator cuff muscles as well. Excellent work, Jonesy. Good. Okay, and then once again, once you do 15 to 20 reps, go ahead, grab some water, and we're going to move on to the next exercise in the next clip.